Yeah, hello, this is Dave from CheapBooks.com. I'm playing World of Tanks. Uh, the tank I am playing is the AMX 1390. It's a French Tier 8 light tank, and the map is Siegfried Line. This is also an assault map. I'm on the assaulting team. And I am working on a mission, and it's a spotting mission, which is to spot 4,000 uh, hit points worth of damage. It's going to be a lot more complicated now because of this other tank here. He's probably going to kill me. Target acquired. One of our tracks is damaged. We didn't penetrate their armor. Tough, intense battle here. Okay, so that was a tough battle. Um, he, uh... Oh, no! That was a big mistake. I thought that this was shallow water, and it's obviously not. Okay, so, um... That tank tried to get an advantage on us by spotting us as we were coming in but unfortunately one of the things that happens in this game is that sometimes spotters and scouts come across other spot spotters and scouts luckily my team uh, swarm domed him however I wanted to avoid any fire from enemy tanks I wanted to avoid uh, artillery fire anything like that and uh, I decided I would duck in here get low as possible and unfortunately I didn't realize that the water is not shallow and apparently once you get in you can't get out so uh, that's the uh, AMX 1390 and you'll notice that the crew died usually when your when your tank uh, is disabled when you when your game is over usually the crew survives and and they say okay let's get out of here but this is a case where the crew drowns they're unable to get out and uh, what happens is I believe they won't get any crew experience, but I'm not sure if that's true or not. It's, it is a possibility that something like that can happen. Okay, so I am working on a scouting mission. I'm going to switch to a different tank. It does need to be done with a light tank, and right now I only own two light tanks. Uh, the Chaffee is a tank that leads to the M41 Bulldog, which is one of the games, I'm sorry, one of the tanks you might see in the game. And I'm hoping to have it at some point. Now, for this map, this is Karalia, and I'm on the defending team. I'm going to do a different strategy. I'm going to go far out into the field somewhere and find a bush to hide in. And hopefully my allies will uh, kill some of those enemy tanks. The question is which bush. I have absolutely no idea uh, which bush I should hide in. So it's going to be a little bit of experimentation. And I might make the wrong choice. And I might have to fight my way. So obviously I was spotted. I hit something over here. Before I could pick a bush, they're obviously um, also trying to do the same type of maneuver. I'm going to fight my way with this guy. Tiger 2 killed me. So I believe I rammed that tank, that Panzer, but unfortunately there was a Tiger 2 somewhere 
that did kill me. Now this is an important position. You can see the T67 took up the spotting position over there. You know, I have a have a feeling that the best way to do this is probably to go around the back. And I think next time that's what I'm going to do. Next time I do a spotting uh, mission on that map, I'm going to try to go around the back side of the hill and to flank them and just spot them and let my allies uh, do damage. Unfortunately, I have no more light tanks. So I'm going to quickly go through and see. There's, As far as I know, there's no Tier 9 light tanks. And the mission needs to be done in a light tank. So the Chaffee leads to the T-37 and the M-41 Bulldog and the T-49. And that's the end of the line for the light tanks. Uh, in order to spot more damage, because I have to do 4,000 hit points of damage, I want to do a higher tier tank. Doing it with a Chaffee is going to be a lot more difficult. But uh, I plan to get this T-37. As you can see, um, I'm very close to getting it. I'll have it in a couple of days. Uh, and uh, the M41 Bulldog is a, a long-term project tank that I want to get. Most of my tanks are tier 8. I have a few, like the Wolverine, I'm going back and I'm replaying it. Uh, the SPG is the same thing, I'm replaying them in order to get the missions. Let's see if there's any other light tanks over here. No. So, other tanks can definitely be used for spotting, but uh, I'm going to specifically discuss light tanks. I don't see anything interesting on the British line. Over here, we've got this RU-251. I believe it's a new tank, and it's on this line that I uh, decided not to play. I'm playing the, the line above it with the Indian Panzer. Um, I don't know why I made that decision, but uh, I think it was because when I decided to do it, I was further ahead on the 3002D than I was on the 2801. Okay, so it uh, looks like one of my tanks is back. I didn't realize this, that one of my allies had hit me. Which is sad. See how much spotting damage I did. Zero. Okay, so I'm going to take this tank in again. One thing that I really wish I had was better camouflage on my crew members. But unfortunately, because of the way I chose those skills, I don't have that. Maybe I'll fix it at some point. This map, unfortunately, is very difficult to get spotting damage. But I will try my best. Going out into this rail area could help. And going out to the... I think there's a, a rail line on the west and one on the east. I'm really not sure because I don't know this map very well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to head for that beach. Excuse me. And I'm going to go all the way to the water, and there's like a rail line, and I'm going to use that as protection. Let's go. Having more SPGs on your team can really help, because as you go further away, the SPGs will be able to hit those targets that normal tanks will not be able to. And you also want to make sure you have the best radio you can get. So that uh, the SPGs and your allies can pick up your radio signal. Okay, so let's see how we do. I'm going to stay as low as I can. Avoid going into the water, of course. Have as much stuff in front of me. For protection. It's very easy to sneak across. Oh, there's a tank that I don't want to have to fight. Target acquired. And he didn't see me.
It'll be very interesting. He did not see me. Ah. Well, somebody else did hit him. So I guess I had an ally in the back there who was taking shots at him. And uh, perhaps I made it more difficult. I might have blocked uh, my ally from taking some shots. I tried to get away. I wasn't able to, um, to do anything. Now, here's what could have happened. That tank came along the lower level. I could easily, and I didn't know how far he had advanced, I could easily have just gone up above on the other side of this wall here, and he would not have been able to shoot me. And I just could have kept on going, and that's it. And he might not have even spotted me. Even though uh, it didn't quite work on this map, I am going to give it a shot at some point in the future. Ah, uh, it's too bad he died. Okay, so I will give it a... Next time I do this map, I will try to do that run again. When I um, played World of Tanks, one of the things that was important to me is that when I first started playing, I didn't know the maps. And I would get into these higher tier games and I realized, on the other game, I got 471 spotting damage. When I first started playing, I would get into Tier 5, Tier 6, even Tier 8 battles, and I realized I didn't know the maps. And I didn't know my way around. And it happens, especially if you buy a premium tank. Like, you can buy a Tier 8 tank, get into Tier 8 battles, not know the maps. So what I did was I took out a low-level tank, like a Tier 2 tank or something like that. And I just started doing what you would call a suicide mission, but the intent was to scout the maps out. And I didn't do it in a training room, I did it for real in games. And I would say, okay, this game, I'm going to go up the middle, and I'm going to see if I can make it to the other side. So I would have challenges like that. And I played easily, you know, hundreds of games doing that. A lot of them without taking a shot, a lot of them I would just die. A lot of times I would hit head-on with another scout. But I, that's how I learned all the maps. And I also learned that it is possible on a lot of these maps to make it all the way across. So I'm going to take up a position in one of these bushes over here. Of course, with the intention of spotting enemy tanks. I'm going to be as careful as possible to get into that bush and hopefully not be spotted. I am vulnerable on this side here. Plus there is a feature called um, designated target. If you are looking at a target, you can keep him lit for an extra second or two, but you gotta be looking at him. if. He has to be exactly where your gun is pointed, or nearby. Like, this guy is getting probably out of the range of, of that little bonus. Uh, I don't have that feature on this tank. But if I did, they would stay lit longer. Now, one of the issues we have is that I am here, and I'm not obviously spotting any tanks. Nice. So I'm going to have to reposition 
probably somewhere closer. You can see that Cromwell is advancing, and he's going to take away a lot of my spotting. And we don't want that to happen. Ah, I hope no one saw that tree fall down. You can see someone has made it to the back. He's actually on the base. I don't think that I'm going to spot anything else. So I'm going to make a run for their artillery. And then I'm going to try and spot them from behind. There's really little that I can do. And I'm keeping my eye on the map. Permission to engage. Enemy armor is damaged. Penetration. We've lost a track. Enemy armor is hit. That is so bad. Ah, I had to stop in order to get better aim. Um, and I saw the enemy artillery, but I didn't get any shots on, on, on him. I don't think I got the spotting damage I needed. Uh, my team is advancing. Uh, these are the, you know, these are the things that happen when you're playing. But I did get some spotting damage in, in the beginning, so I'm very happy about that. Let's see how that Stalingrad game came out. It didn't spot any damage, but I did get four penetrations, which is pretty good. <clears throat> so once you get to the M41 Bulldog, the uh, it's basically you've got the Chaffee line, the AMX 1390 line, and you've got that RU tank. And I think that's all the RU-251, and I think that's all the light tanks that you're going to get at Tier 8. Uh, I should check the Russian line, though. I haven't checked that one yet. The Russian line has a tank called the LTTB, but I don't know if the tanks above it are light tanks or if they become medium tanks. And again, it doesn't matter if it's a light tank or a medium tank. Uh, the only reason why I'm concerned is because it's necessary for the mission completion, which is 4,000 hit points of damage. I'm going to head out into the field Time to roll out. and take my chances with that. Actually, you know what? Maybe I won't. It's kind of a long way away. I'm going to see if I can sneak up through here. Uh, stay out of the lake. It might be very difficult to advance over here. They're definitely going to be watching. The question is, can it be done? Can I get across into these houses without being spotted? Right now, I'm just going to sit here. i got to come up with a plan. How am I going to get there? Go to the next bush. Let the binocs turn on. Go to the next bush. Let, let the binocs turn on again. It's going to be a long way to the next bush. There is 
Not along the red line. I can't know. The other side of the house. So I'm going to try the next bush, which is going to be over here. Got spotted. Better move. Hope he doesn't come this way. Okay, so my ally made it through. And if he did, then so can I. Right now, I think I'm just going to sit here. I bet you I could hit that tortoise. Like we're near the red line. I'm sure I'm not going to get any spotting damage. Okay, I think I need to go and kill some tanks. Consider this a failed mission. And without having uh, spotted enemy tanks, there's really nothing I can do. Last one left. The only thing I can do is get on the cap. I'm sure my team hates me right now. They're like, what the hell are you doing? They're going to come and they're going to destroy me. Okay, so I don't think I got the spotting damage. And uh, the technique I used obviously didn't work. Yeah, I don't see any spotting damage at all. 
That's too bad. Okay, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to try again. In order to do this, let's look at the tech tree. It has to be done with light tanks. See if the Russians have anything. They've got the T-55. Which is the after the LTTB. So I might have to get this MT-25 after all. And move up through here in order to get this tank. And I know these guys don't have any... Oh, they actually, they do. But I didn't go that way because... Uh, I wanted to have the option of getting both lines. And you can't do it from that way. Okay, so um, I'm going to get into another game. Again, I got a spot 4,000 damage. I, I'm pretty sure I've done it before. And so this is going to be difficult to spot 4,000 damage. So I'm going to go in the midfield area somewhere, and I am going to hide in a bush. And the problem that you have with maps like this is that if I get to a certain point, everyone will know if there's enemies there or not. And if it's clear, my team will advance. And if my team advances, then I have to advance. And you might not, might not be safe to do that. So from here, I would spot along the five column, the one column, and of course, on this side of the map. And the other issue you might come across is you might pick a place that can't view out across the map because of the slope. So I'm going to try this bush right here, cross my fingers, hope it works. It looks okay. I can see across the map. They didn't spot me. I hope the artillery hits that tank. Unfortunately, I can't get a lock on him. He looks like he's a dead tank. He's a perfect target. Right there, buddy. And it's very risky to move. I am closest to that tank, so in theory I should be getting the, any spotting damage off of that. And I would like to move closer, but it's very risky. Uh-oh, not good. Ready to fire. If he nails me, I gotta get out of here. Okay, so that's what happened. I mean, if I had moved forward, I would have been scouted, I would have been spotted sooner by that tank. And uh, that's one of the dangers, and, and a lot of tanks shot at me as soon as I was spotted. Okay, so I'm going to get into another game, and we'll find the results from that after the game is over. And I doubt that I got to 4,000. You know, I spotted lots of tanks, but my team was not taking shots at them. You'll note that uh, he almost has everything he needs. He needs to get his all of these up to 100%, and then he needs to get camo for that crew member. 
and then he would have all the skills that are recommended for scouting. And I'm sure he'll have it at some point. What I will do is that on the weekends and on the days such as July 4th, Christmas, Thanksgiving, they usually have specials that allow you to level up faster. Okay, so again, I'm doing a spotting mission. Um, a couple of different ways to do this. You can see in the G2 area, there's a bush sitting right there. And there's, there's another one in the island in the middle. I'm going to head for, like, that lookout ledge. <clears throat> At least for now. That's where I'm going to start. Start. Let's go. So I'm going to head this way. I'm not sure what the best route is. Try to spot some tanks early on. Once it slows down, I'm going to move to another location. You can see that I'm the only one on this side, which of course is no good. Ready to fire. This guy's joking if he thinks he can beat me. Enemy armor is damaged. The radio man is bleeding. We can't rely on him. Penetration. Enemy We're done for. Well, that's too bad. I died because the artillery hit me. I was going to go for that bush right there and it would not have worked. Okay, so do we have another tank? No. So I'm going to continue to look at these light tanks. Again, I need to spot 4,000 damage. The advantage when it comes to quantity of damage is to be in the higher tier tanks, which means tier 8 is the highest. You've really only got four tanks to choose from. Um, what I'm probably going to do because I'm, I expect to have a lot of missions like this in the future, and I've only got two light tanks, I'm probably going to have to play for the MT-25 and the LTTB, etc., and move up so I can get more of those tanks. As you can see over here, I did a lot more spotting. I spotted 1,700 damage in this game. This was on Ensk. And Ensk was the one when I was where I was sitting in the field, and we saw lots of tanks, but my allies weren't shooting at them. Uh, that happens a lot. I saw a game by a player named Quickie Baby on a map called Malinovka, <coughs> where he spotted tons of tanks, and they just destroyed the enemy team because he spotted them. And I've done the same thing too, but my allies would leave. <laughs> Instead of shooting at the enemy that was completely spotted, my allies would leave, and then there would be no one there to shoot at them. And those types of things happen. So, uh, and, and like I said, I've, I've said this in other videos, I can tell the team, I'm going to spot the enemy team, so get ready to shoot at them, and they still all, everybody on the team still leaves. Okay, so... Uh, it really doesn't matter what you do over here. Whatever you do, there's going to be a problem. If I go and get a good spotting position, my allies won't show up to shoot at the tanks. So I'm going to stay back, <coughs> take a spotting position in this back corner over here. And it is high risk because the enemies will probably spend, send spotters out here too, just as well. So it's a race to see who gets there first and who gets the best position and who stays alive. I'm going to try right here.
Doesn't look very good, but I'm going to sit here for a moment and see what happens. Oh, there's a tank. Ready to fire. Better hope he doesn't spot me. Where'd they go? If I get the damage from that, that's a third of what I need. And we know there's a tank right here. Oh, and he's probably in a bush, so I gotta go route him out. Yep, there he is. Ready to fire. Where did they go? Okay, so I'm... Oh, no, I don't want to see that. I'm going to keep moving... Try and occupy this bush right here. Oh, that sucks. Permission to engage. Enemy armor is damaged. Well, Mr. 103, it's you against me. I could kill him, but he's got a lot of friends back there that I don't want to have to deal with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and drive my way out. And it worked. All my allies are now dead. I guess I should have shot that guy. Now I gotta hunt him down. And I'm not fully reloaded. Ouch! This vehicle is okay, so I was hoping my allies were gonna take care of him, but my allies disappeared. Um, I don't know why I only see two on the map. When there should be... Uh, okay, I see three on the map. I don't think I got 4,000 spotting damage, unfortunately. So, let's see how we did. <laughs> 2,996 spotting damage. So that was actually the best one that I had from this series. We get into another game. And I gotta come up with a plan to figure out how to improve my crew. And uh, one of the things that I can do is temporarily move them into a heavy tank, play them until they get to the to their 100%, and then switch them back into this tank. Stalingrad. 
Okay, I believe that I played this one recently, and I went on the beach. And, uh... I'm going to give it another shot. But I think I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to... See, instead of going all the way to the enemy territory, I'm going to, um... To go to, like, the halfway point. And just kind of sit there. And retreat if I have to. Time to roll out. And this is one of my favorite maps, even though I haven't really explored it very much. So I'm using my map, actually, to guide me to where I'm going. You know, I think I took a wrong turn. So I'm not looking at where I'm driving, I'm looking at the map. I want to be somewhere in this area. But somewhere useful. to drive backwards. The antenna is damaged. We can only talk locally. That one bounced. Target acquired. Okay, so I guess I'm fighting my way through. And the artillery is coming to the rescue. Yeah, he got me. I was hoping my allies would have nailed him. They were all over him, but... Didn't work. I probably should have gone uh, through the train or something like that. Okay, so that artillery job <laughs> was to kill a scout. And that's exactly what he did. That's why he went and, and rammed him. <laughs> so the artillery's mission was to kill one scout in the first three minutes of the game. And what he decided to do was head for the beach. Probably he saw those three tanks coming in. And uh, he nailed one of those scouts and he completed his mission. <laughs> and that's the way the game goes nowadays. I don't know why it doesn't let me upgrade. Oh, because they're not really at 100%. Maybe these guys aren't changing. Huh. It's possible that because their training level is only 96% that they're not getting any training, which is sad. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm going to make some notes on a piece of paper to see if they're getting any skill training. Basically what I did was I didn't want to pay for my guys to be to 100%. So instead, I used 
uh, various bonuses to get there. This guy looks like he's good. So this is uh, the driver. And he needs 53 experience. And uh, this is the radio operator. And he needs 44. And this is the loader, and he needs 64. And we're going to check the uh, gunner. And he's at 54, 45. And the commander, he's at 89%. 44, 43, and 43, 44, 43, and 43. The commander is at 952 and 47%. Okay. So again, you need your players to be at 100% in order for their skills and perks to go up. And you'll see that these guys are at 106%, but their training level is 96%, and because of their bonus, they got up higher. And that's possibly the reason why I can't use the increase option for some reason, even though I should be able to. I've got enough free experience to, to increase it. Okay, so let's get into a battle, and I'll check after the battle to see if there was any change. I might have to... Um, bring them up to 100% in order to uh, to start training my crew again. <laughs> the other thing that I could do is take the, the 100 gold that you would pay to train them to one, or the 200 gold, I believe, and use it to buy free experience, and then use that to train them higher. That's another option. Which, of course, won't work because they won't be at 100%. It won't let me do it. Okay. So, for this, I am going to find a bush. See, almost no one ever comes in the center of the map on this type of thing. So, I'm going to find a bush somewhere that I can hide in and hopefully spot some tanks. Still working on that mission. You really want to be up high, but a lot of people want to be up there too. I got a spot 4,000 damage. got to take as, van as advanced of a position as I can. Perhaps right here. I hope no one spotted me. Ah, uh, they get saw me. That's too bad. Well, I won't get any experience for that. Okay, so I'm going to hopefully have my other tank available. This was the one where we had that crazy little battle. I didn't get any spotting damage. Got three penetrations. Enemy team won. Okay, let's try again. Got a spot 4,000 damage. The, I usually do it on Sand River. And it could easily be done on Lakeville also. Well, Lakeville, I wouldn't say could easily be done. It could be done on Lakeville if you have a lot of uh, people that really cooperate. And you have a fast tank and long view range. On Sand River, it's, it's really easy. 
Lakeville is another one of those maps where you can spot a lot of tanks and your allies won't shoot at them because they're too far away. One of the other things that I learned is that you can only shoot a tank, I think, that's 500 meters away. So what happens is you'll spot it, you'll see a tank on the map, but it will be like just out of your range. And I did a measurement once on Erlenberg, and what I discovered was that the tanks were just a few meters too far. I had to move forward a little bit before I could see them. So I'm going to spot on the on the middle road. Hopefully my allies will take advantage of it. Time to roll out. You got to get there as fast as you can. I hope this guy doesn't slow me down cuz he could easily slow me down. So you can see there's a lot of tanks going across over here. And uh, I saw maybe 600 damage so far. They got a couple hits in. You do have to be very careful because the enemy can go right there on that middle road and see you. And it's sad. I can see all those tanks over there, and my allies apparently can't shoot at them. Okay, so that's what happens when you take a shot. I thought that he had spotted me, so I might as well get rid of him. I probably should have just left him there, let my allies shoot at him. They've got snipers out there, basically. So after you do your spotting over here, all the tanks make it to town, you want to relocate, you either want to advance using the rocks as protection and try and fight your way through or you want to reposition and find another bush somewhere to try and find their snipers but as you can see nobody on my team is set up except for maybe that Carnarvon I don't know what the hell he's doing let's see what he's doing Yeah, it looks like he might be interested in that 1390. But he's certainly not... Uh, who cares? Okay, so... I don't think I got 4,000 hit points of damage. Which is really sad. Um, perhaps I got 1,000, maybe 600, 700. So I'm going to have to try again. And it's got to be done with a light tank. I will show you the mission. Assist your allies in causing at least 4,000 hit points of damage by spotting enemy vehicles or destroying enemy vehicles' tracks. And I will get an extra bunk in the barracks. I'll get a, a crew member. I'll get four commendations. Um, as you can see, I'm very close to finishing all these missions except for the SPG one I'm still working on. Okay, where is that tank? The MT-25 is the next tank I'm going to have to get. I would have to purchase this. It's already got everything, and I would have to play 34,000. 
which will probably be well that could be a lot it could end up easily being um, 50 games okay so let's let's call it a day and post any questions or comments below